Hey, I'm Jeff, and this is Terry McMaster, who's going to explain refrigeration to us, or at least the basics of refrigeration. refrigeration. Sure. This is probably the one of the number one sellers in the country in terms of refrigeration. This particular unit is rated at 49 cubic feet of refrigerated storage space. I'm going to guess that's why we call it the. That's why it's T49. So there are several things that you can do with a commercial refrigerator. You can get this to where it's an all stainless steel unit, stainless steel front, stainless steel sides, stainless steel interior. Obviously, the more stainless that's involved on a piece of equipment, the more costly it becomes. Ah, okay. okay. So this one is a vinyl interior. This is a vinyl interior. I would say this would be a Chevrolet quality type piece of equipment for your restaurant. How you're going to use that particular refrigerator will really dictate whether we suggest you should sell or whether you should purchase this refrigerator or right. you should purchase a more expensive refrigerator. Because it's not just the size of it, it's also like whether the customers will see it. Correct. A lot of open kitchens now. Right. Um, but this one, because it's got the vinyl inside, that vinyl's still really good quality. It's easy to clean. Vinyl's a great, great cleaning features on it. Uh, all the interiors on commercial refrigeration have coved corners, so they're easy to get in and clean. Right. Which now so, I know that I mean the difference between a home refrigerator and a commercial refrigerator is there's nothing in it. I mean there's it's wide open with right. those nice round, it's right. so you can get in and clean everything. Correct. No little compartments and doors and levers and Unfortunately knobs. not. This particular brand makes an epoxy coated shelf which is very easy to clean. Right. Should you spill something on it's it? It's kind of standard kitchen commercial kitchen equipment Correct. right there. Right. And every section of refrigerator, no matter what brand you buy, comes with three shelves per section. This particular manufacturer offers bottom mount refrigeration. And the advantage of the bottom mount refrigeration, typically you want to try and use this in a cooking environment because heat's going to rise. Oh, sure. Okay. And with it being down here, this is generally the coolest part of the kitchen. So, so you want to have a little bit quicker to recover. A little quicker to recover because, again, in a cooking environment, you're going to be in and out of this thing all day long. Another nice feature about this is you grab something out of here and all of a sudden your hands are full. If you watch, the door will go back and it will self-close. A typical piece of commercial refrigeration should last you, if you take care of it, probably about 10 to 15 years. And, and they say that in a commercial environment, the wear and tear on a piece of equipment is equal to seven years of domestic. Oh, I can believe that. So like, I, I know I worked in kitchens and oh, it's the abuse these things stand up to is astonishing. Another huge feature with a lot of the manufacturers now is the Energy Star feature. Can I buy this for my house? Because I like this. You could, but we would really recommend you didn't. And I'll tell you some of the reasons why is manufacturers of commercial appliances have pretty much said that there is no warranty if it goes into a home application. Commercial refrigeration is very loud, and so if you're expecting something similar to what you have in your home now, you're going to hear that noise. You're going to hear that compressor to, running. Because they're designed to stand up to restaurants, oh. it cycles on and Correct. off all the time. So we will sell you this, but we will recommend that you probably look at another piece of equipment from a different manufacturer, from well, a residential manufacturer. That's fair enough. I gotta tell you, there's a feature right here you didn't mention, which my wife would really like to stop me from midnight snacking. You can lock those. Mm -hmm. Yes, these do lock from the outside. Um, one of the other things that we didn't talk about is gaskets are a very big thing with commercial refrigeration. You wanna make sure that you've got a good tight seal right. on this thing. So this gasket actually will pop out very easily and I can change it. So you can replace it can or buy, just wash it. Right, I can buy a new gasket, just snap it in place, and we're in business. I'm guessing that keeps the health department real happy too. Health department. the health department hates old, Health department nasty needs gaskets. to stay happy. So this is the Turbo Air version. Right, this is, this is an imported product. One of the features that this has that the True didn't have is it's got a digital thermometer also has some di diagnostic features on here that says, hey, you forgot to close the door completely. The fan is not wor working properly. Just some nice features that come standard with this Idiot particular piece. Idiot lights like a car. Of, exactly. This is an all stainless steel box, both outside oh, and inside. Oh, look how inside. shiny that is. 
This particular unit has chrome shelves as opposed to the epoxy shelves. Options on this about the same as true? Yeah. On doors, you can get what's called a half door. So literally you would have a top and a bottom here. You could have this be half doors, you could have this be a full door. Oh, okay. The advantage of the half door is rather than the whole door being open and the refrigeration escaping out, if you just need product up here on the top, right. you're just grabbing half of that and, and the so bottom the is... So the salad chef knows that she's at the top half correct. of this? Okay. I could put a glass door on this. I could have one glass door, one solid door. This is called a glass door merchandiser. Right, so it's more for the customer to use. Typically, you would see this more front of the house application than in the back. Right. Uh, you'd see it in convenience stores sure. where- All the juices. All the juices and, and the beverages. Again, one of the nice features that they've done now is both Turbo Air and True have gone to LED lighting as standard features now. So you get in here and everything is, is very well lit. But with no heat. No heat, so your energy costs are down because you're, you don't have to heat those fluorescent lights. You don't have to heat the inside of that. You've got better visibility, so hopefully it helps sell your product better. This particular unit is, again, True Manufacturing. One of the nice features that True does is they put an actual insulated lid in here, so when you close this product down, it helps to keep that cold. Oh, that's great. So inside. during the slow times, like two o'clock in the afternoon or whatever, you can, and you walk away from this, it's, it's gonna stay nice and cold. Correct. Oh, that's brilliant. One of the things about all sandwich units, they all have a cutting board. Most of, the, most of the cutting boards are probably only about eight to nine inches in width. That's the difference between a pizza station and a sandwich station. Here's a pizza prep unit up here, comes standard with a cutting board that's 19 and a half inches deep versus a traditional salad sandwich unit that has a seven to eight inch cutting board. Now you can buy an additional length cutting board. The problem is, is if you get it too far extended, then you have difficulty reaching down underneath oh, sure. to be able to open up the unit to grab whatever your okay. backup is. A pizza prep unit, because it, it's got an additional refrigeration system, is going to be a more expensive unit than if you were to buy a salad sandwich unit. Here we have an under counter unit that could actually slide in underneath a table, could slide oh, in sure. underneath a workstation. We have so many different manufacturers that we can offer you. Right. Again, depending on what your application is, we can direct you to the appropriate piece of equipment, whether it be an import manufacturer or whether it be an American made manufacturer. So again, Jeff, if you have any questions at all, we have a knowledgeable sales staff that is more than willing and able to help answer any questions that you might have regarding which refrigerator would be the right one for your location.